yes uh, hi hello guys welcome back to the channel in the previous video uh, you have seen that uh, how to import a sample excel file into your power bi desktop using import mode of course in the excel there is only one import mode well coming to today's video we are going to discuss about how to import or load sql server tables into power bi desktop so as i discussed that in the real time we are going to work mainly on uh, sql server database or uh, Teradata or Oracle. So mainly we are going to open SQL Server databases. So Excel we are using very rarely guys. Only for PVC purpose are we using. So without any late, let's get into uh, Power BI Desktop. How to load SQL Server tables in database. Okay. So yes, this is a uh, uh, Power BI Desktop guys. So now we are going to load the SQL Server tables into our power by desktop so in order to load we have two options here so we can load directly from here import data from sql server if you see here so we can also uh, go and click on get data we can also load here and finally we can go and uh, get sql server from here so import data so since uh, uh, sql server is in a product from microsoft so that uh, uh, they have given the option here itself so i am selecting this one import data from excel server so when I click on import uh, data from SQL Server database, so it is asking the two uh, uh, two modes, guys. Data connectivity mode. One is import, other is direct query. So here we are connecting to database, and uh, so the thing is that we need to connect to database. I mean to load the tables into our uh, uh, Power BI desktop. So server, you can use the server URL what they have given. So I am using a dot for PVC purposes. So it will get into my local. It will connect into my local. Uh, uh, SQL server so that the database is optional and uh, I am using data quantity mode as import guys so I click on ok so when I click on ok so this is the one guys so as I selected uh, dot so that it will uh, connect to my local SQL database so here I am selecting a sample database like employee so I am just selecting in the employee database I am selecting the tables like EMP like EMP info this is a sample guys just for your understanding purposes okay i'm just selecting the person these three database i'm selecting i'm just here again three options load direct load into my power bi desktop or transform data means it will load, it will uh, redirect to power bi query power query editor and uh, cancel means i will cancel the entire process i'm just loading the these tables into my power bi desktop so here uh, my power bi desktop is connected with the uh, sql server database so the mode is import mode if you mouse over here you can see that the mode is import mode so uh, i'm just uh, selecting here table i am here i am adding the employee id employee name uh, so employee location so that if you see that here i can able to add these locations guys so this is the one guys so the thing is we have uh, achieved that uh, we have the sample uh, we have connected to power bi uh, desktop with sql server database and we loaded the tables into our power bi desktop so this is the view tab and this is the data tab guys the data tab these are the tables only right we have selected so here this is the relationship tab nothing but model tab so this is the one guys by the here uh, i'm ending my video so if you have any doubts kindly uh, do comment in the comment section guys so why because since we are in the beginning stage we are going it's the best step so that it's, it's a uh, uh, sample uh, connected with the sample database loading to power desktop so if you have any doubts kindly comment in the comment section guys thank you for watching my video bye